Hello, Georgia Burns here. I'm here to show you the project I've been working on. I think you might have picked up in one or two cards that I wanted to do a project. Well, here it is. It is a bit of fluff on the flower. A um, album for my niece. She got married in April and I've been wanting to make a one. So I've come up with this. Like this is the box. I made a box to put it in. It's three inches, three and a half inches deep. That's say four inches. Yeah, four inches deep by seven and seven eighths and nine and a quarter so open it up and inside the album lift it out and this is the album I've made her it's clipped together by a antique kilt pin. My shout to Scotland. And she did have Scottish visitors there. My my daughter, my husband. <laughs> I'll just put that back in there while we show you it. So yeah, so that's just clipped over with a clip. Somebody gave me this, a friend. She made an album, this sort, this is where I got this idea from and she had a spare clip and she gave it to me and said go make it. The flowers I got out of the range here in uh, Colchester, England. I just got a few packets of different flowers and this lace come out of a um, haberdashery shop and the pearls I added myself. And I've put them on the spine. There's no pearls on the back, obviously, because they wouldn't stay there for, uh, you know, with it being laid down. And the same that side. So we open the album up. And there we have the first picture. I'll move you in a little bit. And you can see the bride and groom. I don't want to get you too close. You're obviously seeing this because I've had permission to show these photos. To open, to start this, you lift up. And there we have page one. This lifts up. And you have some photo mats. Look at that photo. Isn't that beautiful? And that is her mum and dad. It's my sister. God, I'm finding bits in there. Right. Here, on the flat bit, we have a magnetic corner. And this holds out these four stamps. Uh, stamps, stamps on the brain. I haven't made a card for a fortnight. And they're just photographs. And here she can place a photograph of her choice. There is quite a few empty spaces in this so that she can add photographs. And that is just a single page with Sarah. Open it up again. And we have this one it has just a pocket with photo mats in it it comes down and I can't go any further forward there's a pocket here with photo mat in it blank one there's this one which is empty but it will take a 5 by 7 photograph both sides 
and then a corner pocket with photo mats in it. This one, hang on, that's it. This one here is just a pocket. It opens up to another pocket on the side. And then, then here we have a waterfall with photos. I've chosen black and white, a few black and white photos to put in there. They're blank. And then some of the couple and their bridesmaids and her brother and his girlfriend and his girlfriend. So that is that. But then, back to the front, you open up this way. Here we have the groom, Paul, and this side is a photo mats, an empty one, and one with the bride's father. Lift this one up. And you have more photo mats at the top here, and another waterfall with just random pictures in it. Plenty of spaces there for them to add. I didn't want to pick too many because I didn't want it to be all about the photos I picked. Then you open them up, and we have just tuck spots on this one. Open it up again, more tuck spots, and also tuck spots to the side here. Close it up. This one, again, tuck spots for, or pockets I should say, not tuck spots, pockets. Lift this up, and here you have a pocket, side pocket, and here we have a falling arch as I call it because it's individual flaps with a corner pocket. Paul with his mum and his nan. And this album opens right out so you can pull all of it out like that you can't see on that let's see if I can go out you can see it all like that and it just folds in like that and the same the other way. If you pull it all out, you can see all the pages. And just folds out like that. Well, I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, I uh, did try to video it, I did get the cover on, videoed the cover on and how I joined the sides and everything but then moving it about I must have knocked the video off because it stopped and when I realised it stopped I already had papers on it, the lace on it and the base pages on it, not the decorative pages. Um, and then I just give up then because no way can I set up the camera every time I want to film this because I have to film on my dining room table and I can't leave it set up all the time. Um, if I had a craft room it would have been different because you could just shut the door, walk away and go back to it later. But um, obviously with this I couldn't. I did 
put paper on all the seams so that they weren't white same at the bottom put paper on where I could and the white seams and on the sides put the pin on I shouldn't have done on the side seams there's all paper just to keep it tidy and make it look nice so the base cards are put in like a Z fold card and there's four main pages which in turn gave us nine counting the back piece nine pages to decorate which I think is quite nice I do like this I think I've done for my second album this is my second one uh, the first one I did was for my great-grandson two years ago um, I made him an album before I filmed started YouTube um, but I do have to make another baby album for my second great-grandson so this just sits in here and hopefully she will like it but I shall let you know beginning of October is when I will be filming my for my new cards obviously before that but you'll get to see them in October starting with Christmas cards I will let you know whether she liked it or not I hope you do if you'd like to see more of my card projects please um, subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.